praise is what I do is Sister with a Testimony, and today we're going to be talking about repeat offenders. Folks that continually repeat the same sins over and over and over again are repeat offenders. Many have accepted that you paid their bail, Father Yahuwah, and they go and they break parole and they keep on breaking the law. Repeat offenders. Many do not get caught, but eventually they will be found and brought to trial before the judge, Yahuwah. Although the bail was paid by Yahushua Hamashiach, and they've been set free, and they're free to live sin-free, they skipped out on the bail, and the bounty hunter will locate them and bring them to the judge. Many will plead innocent by virtue of Yahushua having bailed them out. However, when the heart is looked into and judged by the great judge, the guilty verdict will be decreed by the judge. They will hear, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. It is appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment. Hebrews 9:27. When one really should die to self and truly submit, that one will show that the trial that they've been through has caused them to bring meats worthy of repentance. That one comes to plead guilty, truthfully pleading guilty, for they know they're guilty. They throw themselves on the mercy of the court and they say, I'm guilty as charge, and they cry out for mercy. That one that has died to self and truly submits, that one that shows up to the trial with meats worthy of repentance, they will show that they have lived without a continual, daily breaking of the law having lived according to the laws of the land, the kingdom of heaven. That one will face judgment with the assurance of acquittal, knowing that when they stand before the judge of the world, they will stand guilty as charged. The prosecutor will be shut down by the defense the defense attorney, Yahushua Hamashiach himself, he will defend that one and shed light on the truth of the matter and ultimately claim that the penalties and punishments are to be expunged and time served will be accepted due to said penalty being paid by the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach the one that shuts the prosecutor down, the defender, the righteous one, the holy one. The prosecutor will be held in contempt of court and he himself will be jailed. We, that one, including me, although guilty as charged because another paid my penalty and stepped in, I, we, you, all of us will be free to go to eternity with our Savior, the one that has defended us throughout all time. Those that come and stand before the judge that have continued to mock the judge and thumb their noses at the legal system that he has set forth. They will stand as if they feel they are entitled to mercy because they allowed the bails bondman to pay their bail. They will say, I have associated myself with you. I have come to court time and again and you have bailed me out numerous 
times. Each time, a repeat offender. They will say that they have done good deeds. And they will say that they have, even though they have willfully disobeyed the laws and broke the rules, that you have kept bailing them out. And they will plead for mercy. Their pattern becomes habitual. And the habit, the habitual sin, the regarding of iniquity in their hearts, the lack of discipline, the refusal to obey, the rebellion, the pattern will be reminded to them. Their lack of repentance will flash before them. The fact that their lies and their pattern repeat offense has become part of their very fibers of their being. Their criminal minds will accept that each time that they returned and they were given another chance, and although they had no desire to change and no determination whatsoever to obey the rules and laws, they will still stand believing that they are entitled to mercy. The law-breaking that became normal every day habitual ritualistic for them the continual rituals the religiously daily habitual rituals that they followed without remorse until the ritual became habitual and the repeat offender comfortably continued in their discourse although they were bailed out over and over and over again with chance after chance after chance their time ran out and the repeat offender was safe or so he or she thought knowing that the believing was the only concept that was required as they come to the end to find out that men are liars and only Yahuwah is true. These will stand before the judge pleading not guilty. The defense lawyer cannot prove his case and responds to the judge. I do not know this one. Although he or she says that they know me, I cannot reciprocate. The easy verdict of not guilty escapes with the hope of everlasting life and the repeat offender is thrown into outer darkness where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. The prosecutor smiles and gets another win for his record. The judge has no choice but to follow the rules and the laws stated in his manual. The guilty must be punished. Many will be sentenced to death. Many more. Many more. Eternity is a long time. Where will you spend eternity? Romans chapter 3, verse 4. Certainly not. Indeed, Yahuwah must be true, and every person a liar. Just as scriptures say, when you speak, you will be shown to be right, and you will win the verdict when you go to law. Hopefully you can claim that as your own, saints, because you're not a repeat offender. You hate sin, and you flee from it. Psalm 51.4 This should be our cry. Praise is what I do, and this is what I repeat. Daily, we should repeat this. Against thee, and only thee, have I sinned, and done that which is evil in thy sight, for thou wilt be justified in the reproof, triumphant in thy judgments. Are you a repeat offender, or did you lay your sin down? To God be the glory. Praise is what I do at Sister with a Testimony. I pray that you have a wonderful, amazing Hallelujah filled day. In Yahushua's name, Amen.